afternoon, family. This is your favorite Gullah girl right here. Kendra Joy on the new show here on WBOK called On The Move. And yes, family, we are a community that is on the move. It is such a pleasure to be with, be here with you one more again on this beautiful Tuesday afternoon. It's just a beautiful day to be in the land of the living, and I'm just so excited to be able to stay here and talk to you. woo <laughs> That's what we do around here on this beautiful day, you know what I'm saying? And so, family, today is 53 degrees here in the city of New Orleans, and I'm telling you, we have to pull out our sweaters, our hats. Yesterday it was 65, and I saw people in flip-flops, you feel me? So on this beautiful day, if you're one of those people in flip-flops and you thought it was going to be 65, I'm going to tell you to go in there and get a scarf, baby, because you're going to catch a cold, you know what I'm saying, in places you don't necessarily want to catch one, <laughs> you know? So family, if you are listening, that means that somebody else is not listening. So what I need you to do, my beautiful family, is tap that individual on the side and tell them to tune in live to your girl at www.wbok1230am.com. And if you're one of those beautiful people who loves to have that phone in your hand, we do have an app for you. You download that WBOK app, WBOK 1230 AM is what it looks like, and you can do that on your Android and or on your iPhone. And if you just want to tell us something today, just let us know how beautiful the day is. or just want to say, hey, girl, what's up? How you feeling? You can definitely dial those digits at 504-260-9265. Definitely dial those digits at 504 504- Two six zero nine two six five. Family, family, family. We had a wonderful conversation on yesterday with Marketplace Mondays, um, and we had our sister Alicia Hall of Millennium Tax Services coming all the way from Jamaica, and she was telling us the difference between Jamaican and United States taxes and the importance of why we should file our taxes. So family, if you did not check out that show, please make sure that you do that because she had some powerful information in that. And one of the things that I just want to kind of recap is that we have a tax... Um, taxpayers bill of rights so if you do not know about the taxpayers bill of rights please check that out it is very very important and that you file your taxes necessarily not with your auntie or your momo or somebody this week go to an actual tax expert this year say it again go to an actual tax expert this year because of the new tax reform that we have going on um, with our with the new government and office that we have. So please make sure that you take advantage. We're going to be talking a little bit more about that because it's going to be very, very important that we look at our taxes, all our 1099 folk, our Uber drivers, all of those people out there. We just want to make sure that we are doing what we need to do in this particular season for our taxes. So family, 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 if you missed that conversation on yesterday, definitely hit me up. We can get you in contact with Millennium Tax Services. Big up to Alicia Hall for coming in yesterday and giving us all that solid information. So we thank you, sis. We hope that you're listening. And if you need her services, definitely hit us up at 504-260-9265. Or you can feel free to email me at Kendra Joy, K-Y-N-D-R-A-J-O-I at gmail.com family. So we want to say thank you so much for tuning in. But on today, we have one of my favorite DJs that's in the house <laughs> all the way from Philly. All the, <laughs> coming in all the way from Philly. Y'all already know what today is. Yesterday we had Marketplace Mondays. Today we got Talk to Me Tuesdays. And it's full of everything today. <laughs> I already got cussed out by my engineer over there. I did an interview this past weekend. And um, I didn't realize the brother was cursing as much as he was. So that means I need to tune my ears a little bit better. Maybe I'm used to it. And that's not a good thing. That's not a good thing. So we got a, a couple of treats in for you today. We have um, a phone interview, oh, actually a live interview that we did this weekend from the Know Your Rights camp with a brother by the name of Amir Loggins, a very powerful brother. He's studying um, the African diaspora um, at UC Berkeley. And that's what we're going to talk about briefly today, uh, along with the NFL and along with music, um, the African diaspora, how it just kind of traveled and how we just got it in us today. And we got an event coming up with some hip hop, some bounce, some reggae, some trap, some a little bit of everything this weekend. So we just want to make sure that we're listening and we can come out and support and tune in too. Just make sure that you, if you have anything to say, just tune in. So what we're going to do is I'm going to do a quick interview of what my beautiful sister over here i'm gonna need you to come on over so the people can see you on the book of the face now nah, you gotta come on you you're on the book of the face you gotta come on over 
for all my listeners out there, I just want to tell you, thank you so much for taking the time out to listen today. We do appreciate you as you are listening. And to our Facebook viewers, we just want to say thank you. You guys have been so faithful. And we know that you could be doing anything else at this time, but you have decided to join us. And we do not take that time for granted. So thank you so much for joining in. Once again, today is Talk To Me Tuesdays, and we're about to be talking about everything. But I'm going to scoot this over. I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to scoot this over because she's trying to hide. She dressed like yeah. she in Philly. And you had the nerve to say I could come in pajamas and you, stuff. You, you heard did, me? You like, said come in pajamas? No, bro. I can't represent my fam like that. You crazy. Your feet stink, bro. Come on, now. Put your mouth to the thing, man. Introduce yourself in there so the people What's can up, know you are. Yeah. <laughs> I am DJ Ivy, all the way from Philly, a.k.a. River. Most people know me by. Um, uh, just kicking it around town here in NOLA. Uh, doing AV and a whole myriad of other things. Whatever is necessary is my motto. You know what I'm saying? What's the job? What got to be done? And, uh, you know, let's get it done. You heard me? So uh, <laughs> I'm blessed to be here with my sister Kendra Joy right here. And, yes, we're on the move, y'all. There's 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 a lot going on. You know, it's pre-Mardi Gras. And, uh, I mean, it's on and popping already out here. I mean, get your, <laughs> get your tickets, get your flights. Matter of fact. You could book your flights with me. Oh, yeah. Come on. <laughs> Let the people know. I'm telling you, she, she was trying to be all modest when she came up on here, family. But, you know, go ahead and let the people know that you're the jack of all trades in this. I mean, in well, you know, the, the thing is this. You know, uh, people ask me uh, uh, what brings me to New Orleans and, and, and why New Orleans and this, that, and the other. Yeah. And I, my response is always it's the closest thing to what Philly used to be to me. Wow. You know okay. what I'm saying? And Philly is a pretty... Really, pretty I mean, popping place. I'm, I'm not not disrespecting, not down in my hometown. However, mm. however, Philly, <laughs> um, we have over the years uh, started lacking on our cultural scene, on our music scene, our yeah. music festivals and stuff. And you know, New Orleans is popping with that. What the <laughs> shit? I mean, and then you, you what the shit? And then you factor in the 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 the, uh, the weather. I mean, come on, bro. The food, oh, the 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 multiplicity cultural phenomenon out here. This is is this, that a word? This, it's, it's, it's multiplicity. I made it up, and I can do it. I'm old enough now. Thank you. Mm, mm, um, mm, mm. <laughs> it's about to be one of those type of shows. It's, it's just beautiful out here, bro. It's bruh. about to be one of those type of shows. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So, family, I told you earlier today that I got in trouble a tad bit for doing the interview this past week. I use euphemisms. <laughs> <laughs> I got in trouble this past weekend for doing this live interview, and the, and the brother that was in it, he he was just very free with his speech, and so um, FCC rules don't allow us to be as free with our speech <laughs> as um, I realized, and so when we get back, we're going to talk a little bit more about this brother. He's an amazing guy. I just want you guys to check him out, check out the live interview. Um, it is a little ADHD in between there, because I did start a whole other conversation in that interview. Oh, let me cut that out. Okay. Thank you so much um, for joining us. We are going to take this quick interview and we, I mean, take this quick break and then come right back. Jazz got me stirred up this morning. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Word, son. Oh my God. <laughs> I just so, got in all types of trouble. Jazz was just like, you send me this right here. I mean, boy, he had buku cuss words in it. I what? Said, oh, Lord. Yeah. He didn't know he was doing it on radio? Or, or he, thought, he, he knew it was it was, online. It, it didn't yeah, matter. he knew it was on the radio. But anyway, family, we just want to say thank you so much for joining in. Um, we do appreciate I need you to come over so the people Why? can see. Well, I'll do this. You know, even though we, we cut the commercial on the, on the air, we're not cutting the commercial right here. I don't and know I, how I, I got the commercial. I have to remember life. that. So <laughs> forgive me. I'm still old school working on it, you know, like in the studio before Facebook, before yeah, before a lot of all of it. And then my glasses. <laughs> see, that's why I didn't want to see she she wanted So family, we just wanna I'm not I'm not going to buy everything. That's not sexy. Everybody that's saying good morning, y'all family. Good morning. 
morning. Um, thank you for joining us on today's show. Today we're going to be talking about some serious things, but we're going to put some humor to it. We're going to be talking about um, the NFL, the importance of us standing together as a community um, and, and participating in that. And we're going to also talk about the brother who you're about to hear the interview with. His name, like I said earlier, is Brother Amir Logan. Um, and he's a pretty solid guy. I think his Twitter handle is um, Left Sense. And so we'll definitely be putting him out there um, just for you to follow him. He has some very amazing information out that way and then after that we're going to talk about music and I know we usually don't have enough time to finish the one topic that we're talking about on this show but we're definitely going to try to put all of that in um, in today's show because it definitely goes hand in hand and so what River is not telling you about herself is that she's an amazing DJ here from Philly she supports nonprofit organizations um, matter of fact she's one of the people that one of the only people that we call on um, actually for um, for our our events. So she does our community pop-up events. She does our second Saturday events. And then if you need somebody who's very diverse in um, music and spinning, y'all definitely give her a call. She's going to be putting her information out there. But we're going to talk about how that music travels from the diaspora or diaspora, wherever you're from. Um, hey, bye. Wherever you're from, how that music travels with us over 400 years um, and how we are using those same beats, those same, those same dances. Twerking is a fertility dance. Mm -hmm. It's like, and maybe that's why we got so many children around. <laughs> yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe that's why we got so many kids around, but for, um, twerking is actually a, a fertility dance and it's because you're able to use all of that stuff and we teach them at a very young age and there's nothing wrong with that as long as we teach them the history that comes behind it. And so when you look at these videos, when you see them in Africa, um, West Africa, and this, this different parts, you know what I'm saying? Um, these girls are doing these movements, but they're also taught the history behind the movements or the reason why Absolutely they're doing the movements. The and so it's just important that we understand that we not just shaking just to shake because we can shake, you know, because it's, it's a beautiful thing to do it, but the history behind it. And so now you know why you're so flexible because it's in your town. <laughs> you just trying to get back home, baby. You just come on back. Come, come on. So Mama, keep the door open. Definitely. So please enjoy the show. If you have any questions, you know, I definitely try to get to you guys on Facebook. Um, and we'll be coming up pretty soon all the way from Chesapeake, Virginia thank you Miss Julia, hey Cindy hey Michaela, hey um, Kim, hey Anita hey Miss Myra, hey all of my people who joined in we give thanks, we appreciate you um, and don't go anywhere because we're about to stay tuned and listen to the interview, let me know what you think about it um, and with, make sure y'all show some love to Jazz too because he's really been here I'm out of hour in advance like really mocking our cuss words for this particular thing and thank you so, Jazz yeah, we, we say thank you, Jazz. Um, make sure y'all show him some love. I'm telling my people to show you some love um, <laughs> because you've been here, you know, cut, taking out the thing. So, and he didn't kill me so I could be here with you today. So, it's been <laughs> so we do give thanks um, for that as I learn in this process. All right, family? All right, hold on. We're about to start again. My friend say thank you, Jazz. <laughs> my friend from Savannah say thank you, Jazz. <laughs> Commercial and residential loans to mobile technology that makes banking easier. There's one local bank you can yes, always count on. Yes, indeed. As Crazy. What you need, what you want. Who, how you feel it? Who, you? Share it out. Oh, man, it's good. I'm, I'm baby. Share it out. We're about to talk about it all. I'm excited to have you on the show. It's going to be fun. And then make sure you have your information for your events this Saturday? Uh, Friday night. I got that. And, uh... With a 70 year tradition that continues to that again? With modern technology, come see how we can go to get ready first. No, get ready. For, we can do after the after the uh, after I do a little intro. New Orleans, no, do it before the interview. Before the interview. <laughs> Hey there, family. Hey there, family. We are back at it again for you. We just want to say thank you so much for taking this time out to join us for this hour of power right here. Thank you for joining your favorite Gullah girl, Kendra Joy, on the new show here on WBOK called On The Move. And we are definitely a community that is on the move. So if you are listening, and I know that you are, and we are grateful that you are, please tap that individual or send them a text message to tell them to tune in live with us right now. 
at www.wbok1230am.com. And if you are just one of these beautiful people who just love to have the phones in their hand, we got something for you to download that beautiful app. Excuse me, download that, that beautiful app, Google Play on Android and on your iPhone. And you can also give us a call too at 504-260-9265. That is 504-260-9265. And for that, we are so grateful for you today, family. So we about to, oh, come on, come on. Now this is what we do. Yeah, you got to jam. What? Oh, oh, really? You want to hear some of this on Friday I, if you I come was, on out? I wasn't ready for that. What the... I was still asleep. Hold up, I'm waking up. It, oh, th mm, mm, that's it. Oh, oh, break it down. Get it. I said, oh, oh, okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm sorry. I had an extra. You gotta get serious. I had an extra ten cooking. seconds of oh, tick, tick, oh, tick, tick, oh, you know? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, family, thank you so much. We are definitely here to have fun with you guys today. Um, like I said earlier, I was telling our Facebook viewers that even though we are definitely talking about some, um, some, you know, some not well, some heavy topics or whatever, we definitely got some people in here today. My favorite sister, uh, who's just about to just make it happen with us. So, without further ado, I need Jazz to give you your own round of applause for making this interview happen tactfully today because he is the person that really, really. Thank you, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> that round of applause, family, all my listeners on air is for Jazz today because he made it happen, he made it tactful, and he made sure that I could keep a job after today's interview that I did with this brother with all his cussing today um, <laughs> on last week's Saturday. <laughs> So we just want to say thank you so much. So family, listen to this interview, and I want you to chime in. For my Facebook viewers, you can definitely hear it because we're playing it through. Um, we're playing it through the house, so you can hear that. Chime in on Facebook, and for my family who is listening on air, please give us a call. We would love to hear your views on what we're talking about today, and that is the. Imp the, well, some people don't feel it's important to boycott the NFL, but the NFL, the African diaspora, and um, music that we've traveled with. So, family, listen to this and make sure that you uh, chime in. So, here we go, family. Dr. Amir Loggins from UC Berkeley, who is studying, who's getting his PhD in the African diaspora. Mm -hmm. So say family, I am here at the Know Your Rights camp, and I have this amazing brother who is working on his dissertation. Oh, we from UC Berkeley, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and his brother's name is Amir, and I'm just going to have him to introduce Man, himself to you, so to just hard talk not about to be. who he is, what he's working I on, think I was and tired, what's the and I was trying to speak straight, of us right? Like, standing up like proper English, mm -hmm. and boycotting the NFL. Okay? It wouldn't work. Either. Okay, Why? so y'all family, here I we was go. just trying to be brother proper Amir. talking. So. My name is so, Amir. But that's more so for my gullah with let me be proper talking. <laughs> and so um, apparently it wasn't supposed it just to be. Happens to, you know, <laughs> my gullah with and let me be yeah. proper talking. <laughs> Your people saying speak up. <laughs> and manipulate systems and academia. Listen to the interview. Out, reach other spaces. <laughs> so it's like I'm finishing my dissertation. Um, um, I'm finishing my yeah, PhD no, at UC Berkeley it, it in was, uh, Studies. Um, my main focus as an African Americanist is to make I sure love the that, fact that you, we you take our, your color. You know what I'm saying? Because not too many people still know about a color, you know. Our own people don't know, you know. We had to I love that. So it's like, but what we have become as black folk in America, and to be able to theorize, you got to do that on a more regular basis. You got to do a series. We are constantly put in a position where we legitimize and theorize and, and, and put in academic jargon white people's ideas. Yeah, That's all theory is. Yeah, are your ideas. You see me trying to Yeah, that's true. But we don't do ours. Yeah. Um, so I'm like, nah, I theorize. Young like, Funny is I doing a comedy event Thursday. Um, yeah. so it's it's like, a collective no, of get to young millennial uh, uh, professionals, yeah, like, okay, uh, comedians, actors, musicians, artists, and very stuff. And, particular and type you know, DC Pope, he runs it. So he and uh, Gigi. And to get to the root of that allows us to see the history. Yeah, my people. Um, and his partner, Gigi, uh, Geneva, Joy. Uh, she's from Philly too. Mm -hmm. That's so who like, I'm doing the party. Well, she's you know, so hosting the party on Friday. Is try to make sure that we are um, uh, uh, word. Yes, sir. And DJ Aura coming down. To make so, sure that we, I'm we, nervous, like, well, like we, we can whip that <laughs> with, with knowledge. We can. We you can. Know, and it's like, but we have to believe that we are powerful, though. Right. And I think a lot of us have been taught we, that power that you were talking about in the. You know, in the seminar, I think a lot of that has been taken away because we have been told for so long, you don't have anything or you are not anything. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So 
that as so in the true. position that you're in, how do we even begin to reinstill, you know, get us to remember how powerful we are? I think one of the main things is to to be anti-assimilation is to a culture that has been designed to subordinate our blackness. Mm -hmm. yeah. And like, I'm not about to get up here and start, I'm not trying to impress white folks. Yeah. And it's just sometimes it's just as basic as that. You mm -hmm. know, we have to empower ourselves with ourselves. That's true. We have to be able to acknowledge that we don't. Like I tell people all the time, well, I'm dope. <laughs> 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 and so are you. Blue. Yeah. That was so a blue. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> I, I think you dope. I think this person, like, like we have to embrace our Sorry, Jazz. In, a, in, in, in a society, in a white supremacist society that always is trying to stigmatize and stereotype us as not being worthy of yeah. Yeah. while stealing our. Yeah. Because it's dope. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, nah, reclaim your dope. Yeah. yeah. And. So Acknowledge your, that'll your be the you know direct yeah, feed, yeah, sure. and this will be the each other that on the fly candid feed. Sudden, look, look at Jazz's face. Can you see his face? Yes. Yeah. He's other that yeah, I'm, still, I'm learning all of this right yeah. now. So, so I got that would be my instructions. Like, first thing, first, right here, like turn, turn on the microphone. Love your people. Turn on the microphone. And then, all right, we're going to our face meeting. Yeah, look, look at this. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah, and and that's true. <laughs> All of that, what you said. So. Thank you for that, because that's just amazing. Now, secondly, <laughs> why is it so important that we stand with our brother and what he's doing with the I Know Your so. Rights or Know Your Rights campaign? Why is that so important for us right now? Well, I think it's important so that's what it is. because uh, we just should. We should stand with anybody that's fighting for us. Yeah. 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 But with the yeah. 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 like I know. I the time, but this live on yours. Most of us are not like on mine too. I don't know, like, I don't know what it's like to sacrifice tens of millions of dollars for a call that I ain't even really hit It's me my like first that. time doing live. And to be like, able to acknowledge <laughs> it from an economic <laughs> standpoint. Share like, your live and then go live. Share this live and then go live. Your dream oh. job. Yeah. <laughs> That you get <laughs> they try to be complicated. <laughs> yeah. Baby steps, Kendra. Because you're attacking a system right. that oppresses yeah. more than likely not him yeah. directly. Right? And sure. when you can see that somebody has sacrificed no. things for you, it is, it is just in your best interest no. in your soul okay. to be okay. able to therefore support get out of <laughs> Because at some shit. point you may your child listen to the interview the family, don't listen to that. Or try to be the child and Y'all didn't on him so much that your child is afraid to be that person. Yeah. And you look back historically, but I clearly was on the wrong side of history. Definitely. By not supporting that person. So, you know, like when, <laughs> like I haven't seen an NFL football game this year. And I don't care. Me either. You know, and, and, it's, and it's because <laughs> I don't need it. Yes. Like, and what it does is it allows us, and this is one of the fears that they had, that's why they put so much money in advertising and indoctrination, is that once we break away and we go, like, wait a minute, mm -hmm. so I don't need to watch football from 9 in the morning to 7 at night. Yeah. What the else can I do? Yes. <laughs> what can I do with my day? Yes. Who can I talk to? Who can I spend time with? Okay. I feel so old. Other than oh my this God. TV. Yeah. And. You know, I love these football players up here. You know what I'm saying? And that's they're doing their job. Mm -hmm. Like the NFL, Fox, NBC, ESPN. I feel so they're old. doing their job too, which is to keep us glued to their yeah. indoctrination I, machine. I feel yeah. like and we I feel like my have grandma to also is be being cognitive of the like fact that grandma. that's a part of this process. So it's it's, it's a weird thing. space when you like you want to be supportive because the NFL is seven percent black folks. So you, there's a part of it that you are supporting black people that come from the hood primarily. Yeah. But at the same time, those people are being uh, those people are being yeah, taken advantage of. I was going to say objectified. Well, they're being objectified, taken advantage, exploited economically, yeah, physically. all of that. All, all of that, that is all happening. That. And I, and I think that. what's important is that... Your family, we are listening to Dr. Amir, um, the future Dr. Amir Loggins, who is just talking about the African diaspora um, and the support of Brother Collins as, um, as we move forward in right understanding yeah. his vision and for they're uh, hijack taking it down. Messages mm -hmm. yeah. to That's what you're listening to. To the point where you trying to sick the whole country on it. And when I say the whole country, I'm talking about white people. Yeah. Because you, <laughs> yeah. like somebody I was giving a talk the other day, and they were like, so when America, I was like, America don't don't dislike Colin, white people dislike Colin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
It's not the There's veteran. a difference. Yeah. Like, there, is, there is a difference. It's not football fan. Because it's like you, your unwillingness to call it what it is. Make it yeah. plain. Mm-hmm. Like Michael Mills talks about. Like, make it plain. Make it plain. Like, make it plain. Let's, let's not make parse it plain. through trying to create these vague terminologies mm-hmm. when we know what the truth is. Yeah. So... You know, they told like us to be quiet because we was making a whole bunch of like a lot of the adults were making a whole bunch of noise, so they told us to be quiet. Conscious soul that you did the right okay. thing. And yeah. Sometimes that's enough to make you a better person, and you don't don't have to do it in front of everybody. Bet. Like that's something you do privately at your house. Bet. Nobody knows. Bet. You know, that's like making prayer. You know, like and you I make pray at the house. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, and I pray. And I pray. And I And I pray. Thank Would y'all. You Family, y'all heard it right here. From your favorite Gullah guy right here, Kendra Joy on the new show, WBOK, called On The Move, interviewing my dude, my new best friend over here. I'm about to go to Berkeley, y'all. I'm about to go to UC Berkeley and see what I can get into over there on that good West Coast. I don't know if they're ready for all this Gullah right here, but you never know what can take place. But thank you so much, Brother Amir. We do appreciate you for your time, and we wish you nothing but God's grace, you know what I'm saying? And favor that falls upon, and that you can expand and reach many, many more than what you're doing. Thank you, sister. I appreciate it. We give thanks. Family, y'all already know what this is catching a few all right family so we just want to say thank you so much for taking the time out to listen to that that was uh the future dr amir loggins brother named by the amir loggins he is one of the brothers that came out this past weekend for the know your rights camp Mm -hmm. and for you guys who don't know what the know your rights camp it is um uh our brother one of one of our brothers, Brother Colin Kaepernick, who is supporting this particular event where he is actually um, putting his money where his mouth is and educating um, the youth of the, and just the youth period. Miami, he's been everywhere, um, taking his own money, the money that he used to get in abundance, now at a very much so standstill. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> baby, at a very much so much standstill um, because he took a knee on the behalf of us. Mm-hmm. Now, just for you guys to know, um, Brother Colin was adopted by an all-white family. He did not know who his mother was um, because they just felt like they they just t- could not handle him at this time. But one of the interesting things that we found out this past weekend was that even though he was raised in a white family, they never stopped him from learning everything about black culture, African-American culture. Um, They allowed him to braid his hair. They they allowed him to, they just, they allowed him to be free. Find out who you are. Free in expression. And so he, one of the cool things that this past weekend that the Know Your Rights Camp did was give every kid inside their book bag a DNA kit. Mm -hmm. Wow. So you can learn your history for yourself. So you can know who every kid Got a book bag, some shoes. Some kids was walking out with Jordans. Com- like I, kids, and were, I kids. That. Were, you didn't call me for that. You ain't no baby. It was it was for the baby. <laughs> it was for the babies. Um, because the adults was like, "What? We don't get no jack." Yeah, you know I'm saying. <laughs> so, <laughs> but it was, I as a community, and if you if you heard Dr. Amir, um, if you heard him speak, he was just saying, "We're not losing anything." Mm-hmm. But if we can follow a brother who who is just standing up for what we believe in as a as a race, mm-hmm. not even as himself, but as a race, he's standing up for all of like our little our little people of color out here. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If he can make that stance and lose plenty of money, why can't we not watch a football game? That's all I'm asking. I I completely respect that. I mean, I'm just saying, like, and and I I make the same argument, and I'm. I'm poo pooed on for it. <laughs> yeah, because- I'm poo pooed on for it, and I, I I I feel like it's a it's a disgrace how much money is being poured into sports where it, that money is being taken away from building communities. Definitely. Um, and I, I applaud. I mean, I can't give you any names because I'm old and 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 She's do a lot of things old. and ADHD like a mug. But um, FCC. Uh, but. Uh, <laughs> I said my you good. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just messing. I'm just messing. I'm just messing. I'm just messing. <laughs> um, but uh, you know, there are I know a lot of other NFL players that support Colin yeah. and his decision and um, everything that he's trying to do. And I applaud them for taking the stance because the thing is, we have to remember that there's strength in numbers. Yeah. We also have to remember that it's us that's on the field. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah, they got their boys too, but it's more of us, way more of us on the courts and on the field than everybody else. And we are 
we're because of that we are responsible you know what i'm saying we're yeah. responsible for what we put out there as a representation of us definitely and one of the things that one of the nfl players said that um when he was because he brought up his friends that were supporting the guys who um were on his team some of the guys who weren't on his team um eric uh eric reed who's from baton rouge mm -hmm. or whatever he you know he's one of uh Collins' um, former playmates or whatever, um, but all of these men were up here supporting um, him, and they were able to, and they talked about, and they talked about how they were facing different challenges, mm -hmm. you know, because, mm -hmm. and one of the guys even said, you know what, we're, we're making history because now the NFL is actually talking about race. You heard me? Like, right. he was just like, race was never an issue or nothing that was even thought about mm -hmm. before this particular, this incident happened. It's not even an incident. It was just something that just needed to happen. Right. And so we we were sitting there in awe, like people are really pushing for us and our rights, yeah. and we're oblivious yeah. to it. Yeah. And so like the Super Bowl is coming up. Mm -hmm. Everybody and their grandmama going to watch it. Mm -hmm. But if we if, every, if everybody and their grandmama decide not to watch it, Imagine what that would say to yeah yes. that that would say to the NFL and how they need to take this um, this conversation seriously. Family, we have an amazing man online. One for us, Doctor Love, the Love Doctor. Hello, young brother. I tell you what, uh, that would be okay. Got a new star. Uh, I, I love the show. I love the energy you bring to it. Give thanks. I love, I love the positivity. Well, uh, that, that you bring. You know, we, we have a lot of thought, but we talk about what's wrong. But what I'm loving uh, about you is that you're talking about what's right, and, and you're also helping people understand the part that they play in it. Mm -hmm. uh, Thanks. Our brothers and the Silverbacks, uh, our uh, high school chapter from Warren Easton participated in uh, that, that, that event. Yes. And uh, I'm going to tell you, they, they uh, not just, you know, the bags and, and, and shoes and stuff, but they 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 were really impressed. Uh, Grant yes. Allen, our, our deputy director, went with him, and he said it was really a really life changing experience for those young people. Yes. Uh, to have some people that they consider like sports heroes really talk to them about life that had nothing to do with sports. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, yes. And, and helping them bring the real. But but uh, I I just want to say since you've been on the air, I have really been enjoying. Uh, what you bring it. Uh, I, I, I think uh, you're going to help the station bring in a younger audience, and it's going to be a, a, a younger and a very conscious audience. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I'm, I'm excited about you. Uh, uh -huh. Keep doing what you're doing, and, and, uh, and just know that, 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 that you're doing something that's really special, and uh, you're going to make a difference in this community. Oh, give thanks, Dr. Love. You're not supposed to say all that stuff on the radio. You're supposed to call me after the show is over so I can actually, like, no be. See, now nah, I ain't got no words. See, that's what you do. Thank you so much. <laughs> you know what they say, say uh, you, you should always. I, I learned one thing as a love doctor. It's like I tell men this all the time. I say, so you want to really do something for your lady. Send her something when she at work, so everybody, <laughs> so, you know, I want everybody to know that the love doctor loves what you're doing. And, Give you know, thanks. And he's excited, really excited. I, I think this show is going to have a, lot, a big impact. Give thanks. Thank you so much. Your, your yes. words mean a lot um, because you guys are veterans at this, and I'm just watching and being mentored quietly <laughs> as I watch you guys and just learning what to do and how to move through the community. And so I, I don't take your words lightly. Thank you so much. And um, when I'm when I'm knocking on the do love doctor line, you know it's me. I'm going to be like, yeah, 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 doc. This the, this the gullah gal. What's up? How you feeling? I love you. <laughs> Letting people cuss on your interview. Yeah, that, I, I got in trouble. I just, I learned that today, Doc. I learned that today, and that won't happen. I owe Jazz lunch. I tell him I got to buy him. A, he was just like, no, you ain't. I was like, I'm buying you lunch, dog. I got to do something. I'm learning. He did. He did. I am so grateful. I am so grateful to him. He don't even know. He just smiling over there. Thank you, Jazz. Um, <laughs> It's like the humble lion in there. Okay, definitely. Thank you so much. For... All right, thank you. All right, peace. <laughs>
Jazz, you're just getting all type of accolades today. Jazz, I'm telling you what you want to eat, but I'm making sure you have it today. <laughs> Today, you just so cute over there in the back, y'all. We want to just say thank you so much. I'm I'm learning in this process, and um, the purpose of the name of the show is on the move because we are truly a community on the move, and that's where we want to be. We do have a lot of we have a lot of issues, mm -hmm. you know, as a community. Um, that just means we got a lot of potential. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> the glass is half full, <laughs> not half empty. <laughs> And so um, it it is a it is a big pet pe well no I don't say it. it's a big goal of mine a big mission to focus on the the solutions of mm -hmm. the matter and not necessarily and we in the commu in this particular community in the New Orleans community mm -hmm. we got everything we could ever ask and need for mm -hmm. and so we are just um, as a community we are blessed to have so many leaders to have so many civil rights activists, to have so many nonprofits, to have so many minority-owned businesses. We are a, a blessed community, and we support that. And we're just asking more of you to support that mm -hmm. because that's how we sustain. Um, and so that's why we talk about wellness. That's why we talk about different things. That's why we bring in local sheroes and local heroes so you can see that this it's not just Hollywood. Right. It's us right. and every real day, people real doing pe real things. Real people <laughs> doing real things, and so that that is very important. And so we give thanks, and so we and that's why we want to support Brother Colin mm -hmm. because he's a real person doing real things, and he was just so transparent in mm -hmm. that particular thing. They were teaching money skills. They were teaching all this other stuff. It was it was a beautiful event, and we can do that, too, in our community. And for those of you guys who are listening on the air who are not from the New Orleans area, you can do that, too, in your community. And our Facebook viewers, we have people that are listening from all around. Um, the Chesapeake area, the Virginia area, um, Virginia area, from the Savannah area, from the Arizona area, from the Charlotte area, from Somebody the Charleston area. Somebody in Philly area. better be listening right now. You got your Philly people <laughs> listening. And so we have so many. If all of us were to just start. And not just for Black History Month, but be continuous mm -hmm, about it, be mm -hmm. be intentional about it. If we were to just pick up something and just carry it the whole way through, I'm going to do this one thing. And the thing is, you know, energy begets energy. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Once you sure. get something started, you know, yeah. it's sure to get picked up, yeah. whether it's for good or for bad. True. I mean, just look around you, you see. Yeah. And and speaking on the financial um, side of things and, and how much of an impact it would be to the NFL if folk did not watch the game. Uh, the Super Bowl, uh, that's that's another part of being on the move. That's another part of, of uh, building your community. Like, yeah. all the money that black folks spend on sports, bro. Ooh, come on, say, bro. On sports, on some, on jerseys alone, on, on ball caps, yeah. bro. I mean, for real. Yeah. You heard me? If you, if you took maybe an eighth of that money, and were to save it, invest it, or what have you. Yeah. You know how much power we would have? Yeah. Uh, a lot. You know, lot. And, and, and the thing is, I, I don't agree, again, with how much money is being given to these athletes. Now, mind you, they should get paid and paid well. Because yeah. they they go through some mess, they yeah, hurt their body, their minds, and everything. However, touch like that. You know what I'm saying? That's too much. However, it's it's there has to be some kind of um checks and balance and equilibrium um, system in place to to make sure that what we put in our entertainment is commiserate to what we put into our education yeah. some kind of way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it just, like you said, it just got to start with one person, it, bro. It does. I'm, it not does. The, I'm not the mathematician to make that happen, trust and believe <laughs> that. However, <laughs> however, or the logistician, but I... I I got ideas, people, yeah. and, you know. <laughs> we, we all have ideas. And it just starts with just one, you, you know. Heard me? One of the sisters, the sister Alicia, yesterday she said, you know, if we were to just, um, like, education or knowledge is power, is yes, what she's absolutely. saying. And the information, like you say, invest in the money or mm -hmm. whatever. You can invest your tax. In yourself. You can just take $10 a week out of your paycheck. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just. It just, there are just so, and we have some people coming in and talking about how to invest in all that other good stuff, just on basic stuff, not even in stocks, mm -hmm. but just in yourself, how mm -hmm. to invest in yourself, how to save, you know, how grandma used to save. It's, it, there's, it just blows my mind how our grandmas and our grandpas and our they great had grandmas. the greatest wisdom, man. Had like $30,000 <laughs> in the mattress, you yeah, know what I'm man. saying? Um, and we can't keep $10 in our pocket. So what? <laughs> it, it just blows my mind with that. But family... I just challenge you just to see what you can do for your community today. 
Today is Talk To Me Tuesday. We just finished listening to an interview with um, Brother Amir Loggins, who is a brother who is studying um, the African diaspora out there in UC Berkeley. He was one of the um, one of the individuals who spoke this past weekend, and a very powerful brother he was. And we just finished listening to that, and that's why we were talking about the Know Your Rights camp. That's why we were talking about the NFL and supporting our brother Colin Kaepernick and what he's doing in his, in his endeavors and how we can support him as a community. Or if that's too big for you, how we can start in our own house. Right. You know. Sometimes it just starts in your own mindset, bruh. Like, yeah. And that goes a long way it, because it does. energy begets energy. It does. It does. So family, when we go right back, we're going to talk more about this music and how Brother Amir Loggins and how his information has transformed us into a new era called music. How about that? For shizzles. We're going to get back into that <laughs> because we got our favorite DJ here with us who is just talking and just giving us mad love today about what's happening um, this weekend, how they're making moves, um, how she's loving what she's doing in this particular area. And she's going to plug a few make events. Your money. And how to make us money. <laughs> so, family, don't you go anywhere. You stay tuned because we will be right back with some more love and light for you. We appreciate you for sticking with us this long. Stick with us for a little while longer because we're almost there, family. On the move. On the move. <laughs> you know that's all Philly production right there. You heard me. That's Philly. Philly and Nola. Finally together, baby. I've been trying to make it happen since I got you. And look at us now. <laughs> Family, thank you so much for tuning in with us today. It has been a true pleasure to have my sister in the booth with us today. Sister River, DJ River. Envy, right? Ivy. Ivy. DJ Ivy. DJ Ivy. Feeding you intravenously. But that's so in good so silly. <laughs> plug, plug, plug right here on Facebook your event that you guys going on this Saturday before Absolutely. we go back on air. Yeah. It's actually Friday into Saturday because, you know, we all getting older, but we want to remember ourselves. <laughs> so from 10 to 4, we're going to be at Paul Boys on St. Bernard. And, uh, in the morning? 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. See, that's how old we get. And folks thinking we talking about a party in the morning into afternoon. And I ain't going to be up. Ain't, no, be up that late. ain't nobody going to be up that early dancing. Not me, because I'm still suffering from the rest Girl, of this week. 12 o'clock, I'm going to be like, <laughs> scratch. Be 10 p.m., you better be walking through that door like, yeah. It should get your girl in the hills. Hey, how you doing? My eleven thirty. <laughs> my eyes gonna get red. I'm gonna start tearing up. They gonna be like, that Man. stuff. Don't worry, we got designated drivers for you. That's okay. They gonna think I'm drinking. <laughs> I'm just gonna be sleep. I'm gonna be tired. Like, what's that you hitting, girl? Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, we got the cotton call with cotton candy ball going on this Friday night. Myself, DJ Ivy. We got my homegirl coming down from Philly. We gonna be all Phillied out up in here on St. Bernard. You heard me? We got DJ Aura coming down. We gonna Where have on St. Bernard at Poor Boys. Poor Boys. Poor Boys Lounge. Girl. <laughs> Yo, I just lost my New Orleans card. They they gonna take it away. I'm like, well, oh Lord, it, forgive her. Charge it to a head, not a heart. Okay, she does mean well. And by the churches? <laughs> yeah, down the street from the churches. Yeah. Which way? By prime example? Or going the opposite direction? Going towards Clayball. Our focus is to empower and sustain. Let me finish that. with the dad. Listen, so it's going to be Geneva Joy who brings you Black Girls Giggles. Now, this woman, she is fabulous. <laughs> this this sister, I used to do a show back home called The uh, the Black Lily, for those who might remember. And it was the launching pad for a lot of hip-hop, R&B, soul, folk, what have you, um, that I'm not going to mention because they got enough thing going on. You heard me? Anyway. <laughs> Um, and she was well, I'm trying to get a She was a event. young I'm fan trying. and she came and gave love all the time, every chance she could. And she was just like, yo, I'm gonna be on somebody's stage, I'm gonna do my thing. And I think she's been here for about three years now. And this woman, talk about on the move. Talk about on the move. This, she ain't she ain't stopped moving. She, I saw the other day, she was like this. She, cause she was feeling her way through life because she be moving and is so tired. But the baby, she going to do some, some real things, some real big things. So she and DC Paul are doing Young Funny and uh, February 1st. They'll be going to give you some love. Big up to DC Paul, who's another WBOK host here. Y'all already know. 
and we're all working together on uh, that's what all of this is about we're all working together to promote each other because that's the only way we're gonna make it you heard me uh so cotton candy ball this friday 10 to 4 at uh richards i mean excuse me ball boys on saint bernard and what's else the first I don't even we know got young funny there's so many events going on this week i know the brain farts is happening you need to I'm, pull it up sorry. I'm i'm working see that's just what old people do. They see you doing something, and they comment on why you should be doing it. And don't you see me doing it already? You heard me? That's, that's what old people, that bickering and stuff, that's what happens when you, when you cross like 30. You saw your parents doing it, and now you realize you're doing it too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So family, we just want to say thank you so much for joining us today. It has been a true pleasure. We do hope that you did get something from it today from Dr. Um, Amir's interview and from the conversation that we've been having today about just supporting, I'm um, just supporting your own, um, hopefully you don't watch the Super Bowl because we really want to support with that. But if you choose to, you know, have fun, be safe, um, you know, and then find another cause to support. That might be, that might not be your thing. I have a, a friend of mine, she's saying that, um, you know, we're back. Oh, that's we're coming back. Okay. We're on the move. Tell it. Hey, family, we just want to say thank you so much for coming back with us on this particular day. It has been such a joy. <laughs> As DJ River over here, she's over here getting it in. We want to say thank you so much for joining us. This is your favorite Gullah girl right here, Kendra Joy, on the new show here on WBOK called On The Move because we are a community <laughs> that is on the move. So if you are listening, that means that somebody else is not listening. And I just would love for you to do me one good favor. Tap that person on their show, then tell them to tune in live with us at www.wbok1230am.com, family. And if they just have to have that good phone in their hands, we have something for them, too. They can download that beautiful app on their Android and or on their iPhone. And if you just want to drop us a line while we got a few more minutes left in this particular studio on this particular day, you can dial those digits at 504 260 Nine two six five family. That is five zero four two six zero nine two six five family. We are on the move. Hey, hey, we are on the move. Hey, <laughs> hey. And so, family, today, welcome back to Talk to Me Tuesday. We have been just having a great time in the studio today, just talking about the NFL, the Super Bowl, um, finding whatever cause that you want to support, do that and carry it out all year long, just not during Black History Month. But we were also talking about, we had an interview that we listened to earlier today by brother, um, future Dr. Amir Loggins, and he was just letting us know his term or his perspective on the NFL, on the African diaspora, and how we should just be supporting our own. We should be doing our own things. Um, because many people come in and take our own things to make it their own. What? But how we can support our own. And, and we just be giving stuff away. <laughs> she, mm. I, I'm, I'm assuming that she doesn't like that. Mm. <laughs> so, family, we're going to continue this beautiful conversation as we, we shift. We're going to shift the gears a little bit into music and how, with the African diaspora, how we have been able to maintain those rhythms and those beats. And we only have a few minutes to talk about that. But Jazz can jump in, too, because he's a, he's a producer that produces beats, river spins, she mix. I'm a I'm a musician. We're all musicians, and we all have. <laughs> She's trying to get jazz attention, y'all. Yeah, on, she don't know she live on the air. We about to put her out of the studio today. <laughs> Let me like, where did the DJ go, girl? She in the, she is in timeout in the corner someplace because she cannot get it together right now. <laughs> Like, I thought she was cool. No, no, no. We did not give her her red lip pill today. She, she, she needs some melatonin or something. I'm just saying. But um, nothing but love. She already knows nothing but love. Mm -hmm. But we have been just having an amazing time today. And for those of you guys who are just tuning in, I just need y'all to give big love and big shout outs. And if you see Jazz in the street, just give him a honk of a horn. And if he's in the store with you, just buy his sandwich on my behalf because, because he has saved my life on this particular day. I just want to let y'all know that um, in the particular interview that you guys had a chance to listen to earlier, there was Buku cussing in it, y'all. And Jazz was just like, Kendra, you was just trying to get us killed with the FC. And I was, I was like, I ain't, I, I ain't. 
I ain't know. <laughs> I ain't know. So, Jazz, once again, we want to say big ups. Thank you so much. Family, if you see him out there, I'm dead serious. Buy him a sandwich and come see me Monday <laughs> through Friday for 12 to 1, and I'll, and I'll pay your bill back. I'll, I'll give you $5, though, is the limit. $5. We cannot go over $5. So, y'all better go to Juan's <laughs> Burritos over there on Carrollton for the beans and rice and chips combo. That's $4.95. Or oh, look for the Takaria food truck. I'm just saying, look for somebody <laughs> under $5 because we cannot help you if it's more than 5 All right. So, we bless the Lord. Amen. 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 I we don't even have time to talk about it. But please, if you are out this weekend, my sis and a few other sisters are throwing an amazing event called the Cotton Candy Ball. At St. Bernard's, uh, no, at Poe Boys. I'm about to lose my New Orleans card, y'all. I've been here for seven years, worked hard for it, and about to lose it. Over there at Poe Boys on St. Bernard's, starting at 1328 St. Bernard, Thank you, baby. <laughs> starting at 10 p.m., not 10 a.m. You can tell I'm old. I ask 10 a.m. because <laughs> at 11.30, my eyes are going to start watering. My nose, I'm going, it's just, and I'm not going to even be drinking. I'm just going to be sleepy. Help me, Lord. And I would just be popping my third crack pill for the day. No, you can't say that. <laughs> I got to stay up. We about to get I in trouble. She up. about to put us out. See? Listen, bruh. It, it was a joke, man. Who, FCC, ha, ha, ha. FCC, ha, ha. I just e got the show in by the end. Of it. I just got it. <laughs> I, it's only been a month, Dad. Yeah. We still ain't talking about All World Global. Holla at your girl on, uh, on Facebook or what have you. Just get at me so I can help make y'all some money. Travel the world, see what you want. Live your dreams, people. And make some money while you do it. All so, World Global, you heard me? On the move. <laughs> so, family, not only is she a DJ slash comedian slash bad kid that's about to be put in the corner, <laughs> she also has her own travel agency company, y'all. It is called All World Global, and that's A-L-L -L dot W-O-R-L-D dot G-L-O-B-A-L. -L. And you can definitely find her on that, um, on Facebook with that mm -hmm. as well. And so please check her out, 985-306-2206 for your travel arrangements, okay? She is willing to help you in all of your endeavors. Pay one way for round trip tickets anywhere in the world, baby. Come see me, holla. Oh, see and now she won't get serious when we talk about the money. I'm just you saying. You see how that works? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you see how that There's a time to play, and there's time to not play. Time out. This is, what the, this is what the people do with their kids. Time out. Yes, ma'am. How old is it? I keep you in there when you're by your age. You're going to be in there for a whole nother oh, hour, so we don't want to put that. <laughs> so, family, we just want to, like I said, we just want to say thank you so much for being an amazing crew. We appreciate my sister for coming in and just joining us for Talk To Me Tuesdays Live. She does have a few events. We're going to be plugging those events this week. She's going to give me some flyers for that. And we just want to tell this beautiful sister right here, thank you for being a friend. That's what we do. Come on, so I need you to bounce that up. Really? Yeah, that's what we do on really? it. Really? Come on. Really? What you think this we, is? We, we, for real? She think this a game, family. See, see this, this is what I no can't game. take, bruh. Then you want, want me to calm no down. Then you want me to get hyped. Just like the white man, man. You try to control <laughs> my emotions and stuff. That ain't right. Get up there. That ain't right, Look, bruh. She gotta go. I love you too, much. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> family. It has been such a pleasure to be with y'all today. Y'all already know how we do it. It's nothing but love, light, and fun in this studio. And we are truly humbled that you guys are taking the time out to join us this very hour from Monday to Friday from 12 to 1. This is what it's all about. It's all about family. It's all about friends. It's all about laughing because we got enough to cry about. You yeah, feel? heard me. We got enough to cry about. So family, <laughs> tomorrow... Come through Mind, Body, Spirit Wednesdays. Y'all already know how we do it. We're going to have one of our local healers coming into the community, from the community, giving us what we need to be able to, to sustain ourselves, our families, and then our communities. That's what On The Move is about. And y'all know we are on the move. So family, <laughs> thank you so much. Make sure you love somebody. Remember, you are light, and we'll take it. Take, uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> take it back. Take it back. <laughs> one more time. <laughs> I can't, I can't even focus to get the words out for the Rod River today. <laughs> family, we'll see you tomorrow, all right? Love Stay you. on the move, y'all. Stay on the move, family. <laughs> River cannot come back. She is on punishment for It a ain't month. my fault. She called me early this morning or texted me or instant mess something we communicated this morning, <laughs> bruh. You heard me? I still got crust in my eye, too. You heard me? Like... 
Well, let me say thank you for listening to us. We do appreciate you. If there is a topic for my Facebook viewers that are listening, is this something that you want us to hit on or you want us to come out and um, do a remote show at, just hit us up. You know, we do. We come out to different businesses, minority-owned businesses on Thursday to support. If you want us to do a remote show there, hit us up. You can hit us up on Facebook or you can hit us up via email, K-Y-N-D-R-A-G-O-I at gmail.com. Family, we love you. We appreciate you. And make sure you continue to be what? On the move, baby. On the move, baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh, on the move. Oh, on, oh, on, oh, don't forget that's uh, Philly. Uh, uh, that's what we <laughs> Oh, don't stop it. That's nice. Oh, the song. Okay. Wait, oh, she's slow. No, no, no. The guy. The guy. Oh. That's my brother that just joined in. Oh, brain. Delayed reactions. Elderly effects. I am not elderly. <laughs> Scott, can you tell mama to call me, please? Thank you. All right, family. Thank y'all so much. We love you, and we we about to end this because we've been clowning all. Yeah, and I for forgot I got stuff to do today. Yeah, Let me bye. get out of here, girl. Bye, family. Love y'all. See y'all tomorrow for Tell the One. Peace and love. Thanks for having me. Peace.